Hey everybody, Mike Wolford here from the Dude's Kitchen and Grill and today you're watching another episode of Backyard Grilling. In this episode, we're using the Weber kettle for the first time on the show. I had forgotten how much I enjoy cooking with charcoal until I got one of these. And this is like the fourth time I've used it. So in today's episode, we're doing pork chops. These are the center pork chops and then we're also going to do some zucchini so we'll just cut these up first we already got the charcoal going it's up to heat we're feeding the whole family tonight and here's one of the extra pork chops from the other day look at that bad boy yeah. All right, the first thing we're gonna do to these things is we're just gonna put some EVOO, as my girlfriend Rachel Ray says, extra virgin olive oil over the tops of these things. And it's just gonna act as a binder for uh, our Uncle Steve's shake that we're gonna put on. I'm gonna use a, a pretty generous proportions too of this because it's also gonna help us out with grill marks. Let's flip these. We do want to get both sides. Pick that off there because we're going to need that later. Just put our EVOO on here. There we go. Got some extra if I have to go back to the well. But that's just about perfect. Alright, from here. We got some Uncle Steve's sweet and the spicier. Love this stuff. When I made this last night, I put on a good, good amount onto each one of these. I'll tell you what, it did the trick. We'll flip them. We're gonna do the same thing to this side. Everybody in my family enjoys the sweet and spice here. All right, time for the kettle. So as it stands right here, I've got the charcoal on this side because I want to cook these things for about two minutes each side. Well, about, about two minutes, right? And then I'm gonna turn them, so we're gonna to try to get a, like a crisscross when it comes to our burn marks. And then when I'm done, I'm gonna move them off to the side for the indirect heat. I don't know if you can hear that, but that's the sizzle right there that I'm looking for. So as you can see, these things are going through the motion. They've been on for about a minute each. So we'll just look at one, look at that. It's coming along quite nicely. We'll give it another 30 seconds or so and then we'll then we'll rotate them. Longest 30 seconds of your life. There, we'll give it a twist. I do want to check this one because it's kind of on the outside. Yep. And woo, that'll send your hairs. All right, we're gonna give these another minute and a half, two minutes, and then we're gonna flip them. You wanna keep an eye on this one, because it got burnt. Well, at least it's starting to get burnt. They all look really good, though. All right, I think it's time for a flip. Look at that, that's looking really good. Nice. These grill marks are looking good. That one probably go on a little bit longer right there. Look at the grill marks on this one though. That, my friends, is about perfect. 
So the clock has started on these four. This one's just going to take a little bit longer to do because it was on the outside. You guys know what time it is, right? It's time for another Zoe moment. So, Wee, what's going on? Huh? What are you doing? Just sitting there? Kind of warm out, isn't it? Yeah, you're a good girl, aren't you? Can you say hi? Yeah? Don't bother me? All right. There's your sewing moment, guys. All right, let's get back to checking this one. Time to flip it. Let's check these out. Oh, there we go. Getting some good sear marks out of that. I'm going to move this one over because I think when they get out here, it's just not as much heat going on. Getting the grill marks on there. I like it. I think it's time to put this one off to the side though. That one was at temp. Uh, let's take our grill marks out. Hey, not too bad. I'm going to leave that one on a little bit longer. This one doesn't really have the grill marks. I'm kind of bummed. You see that? Oh, that one's got some grill marks on it though. That's cool. So strike the two minutes on each side. All right, I'm going to pull this one away because it's a little over 130. And this one's up to speed too now. That one's at about 128. I'm going to pull it off to the side because we're going to have that residual heat. And same with that one. I think those are done. All right, guys. We're going to take a quick break while I clean up some tools. And then we're going to start on our zucchini. Right, it's zucchini cutting time cut the ends off and really all I'm going to do is just cut this down the center like that and then I'm just going to cut it in strips just like that then I'm going to do it again Alright guys, now it's starting to start painting our zucchini. And really it's just, just like that. And I'm going to do each and every one of these. I'm going to have just about enough too of olive oil. Perfect. My girlfriend Rachel will be proud of me. She'll be like, Mike, your UVOO, you did so great. They look so nutrish. Got that right, Rachel. These are nutrish. All right, let's sprinkle some Uncle Steve's over them. Perfect. Now we're going to put them onto the grill. So same thing as before. We just want the grill marks on these. We'll do these in batches. Cause then we'll move them off to the side with everything else. Now as you notice I didn't put a lot of Uncle Steve's on these. I mean some of these seem to have more, but not all sides are coated. Make sure you click too like that. That helps. They should like they're already starting to get grill marks. Just leave them alone for a few moments. Man, these look good. Smell good too. I'm going to bring this one back over. These back, because they're, they're done, but these ones here, I don't know, they just don't seem to quite want to play. Alright. 
I think these are done. I'm going to move them off to the side here. I'm going to reload. Alright guys, I think we got some grill marks. I think we're done. Let's plate one of these up. We're going to take the big one, throw it on there. Take some of these zucchinis. Throw them in there. Look at that. Doesn't that look awesome? Let's get to eating. Alright guys, thought we'd give you another shot of this. I mean, this looks awesome. Look at the, the stripings on there, the grill marks. Oh, grill marks. I mean... Come on guys, this is going to be good, you know it is. Alright guys, I know the sun's kind of playing tricks on us here, but it's time to try this. Let's start with the zucchini first. Mmm. Full flavor, got that crunch, got a love. Except for fully heated. The Uncle Steve really shines through there. Mm. All right, time for a pork chop. Mm. Same thing, that Uncle Steve really shines through this. It really does. That's amazing. Let's try another bite. I'm going to try it with some zucchini. Maybe. There we go. Mmm. Just a great combination, guys. Now, one of the things you can try that Mrs. likes, is she doesn't like it cooked this way. She likes the tequila barbecue sauce. So I'm gonna try it her style. Just put some off to the side. Maybe, there we go, a little bit. I tried it yesterday and I thought it was really good. I just got it at the local grocery store. It just says tequila barbecue sauce, actually, Habanero lime tequila barbecue sauce. Excuse me. We'll try it with that too. And that's actually really good too, guys. Really is. If you were going to do that, I would suggest cooking it the last few minutes on there. All right, guys, there you have it. We have pork chops and cut up zucchini. Cooked them on the Weber kettle. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Use just the Kingsford briquettes. Nothing special about them. That's what I'm still eating. Mmm, so good. Recipes down below, guys. If you like what you see, please remember to hit the like button, comment, share on Facebook and Twitter, whatever. Ring that dinner bell for more notifications. And of course, subscribe. Thanks again, everybody, for watching. Steve, the camera guy, and I really appreciate it. You're watching the Dude's Kitchen and Grill. We're doing some backyard grilling. And today, we did pork chops and zucchini. Going back to eating, guys. You know me. That's how I roll. Talk to you later.